Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of the Indicator Store. It's been a long time since my last video after a long vacations. Uh, let me let me refresh uh, one of my main products. Uh, th this is my web page. You, ca you can find the link on the on the description of this video. And my main product is markers. Okay, markers is a system for the trading platform ninja trader what we are looking here um, what is markers w markers is a system that lets you automate the signals of an indicator or even create your own signals let me show you an example let's say that we have an indicator that print signals for example one of my indicators that you can also find on my web page the TIS ATR trend this is one of the newest indicators and those are the default uh, signals uh, let's say you want to automate the, those signals those for those who are coming from Ninja Trader 7 and the old markers version, you may think that those are triangles. But again, a, tri a triangle marker is what we have here on drawing markers. Chart marker, triangle. Mm -hmm. This is a drawing object. Okay, and you can see it is different. Okay, it changes with the size of the bar. Okay, this is an object, this is a plot. Okay, so first of all, you need to identify uh, what is painting the, the indicator plots or objects. If you double click a signal, you can see that you get or the drawing objects with the triangle down this one or in this case on this indicator if I double click the signal it goes to the uh, indicator and you can see that this indicator has plots okay some of the plots are the signal signal up and signal down so markers can automate any of those but you need to identify which type of signal you have. Let's, let me show you an example. If I add markers, that by the way, markers is a set of tools. Okay? It is a marker plus and a few other tools. But let's say we, we only are interested in automating those, those signals. So I'm going to use marker plus. Okay. And then here, on the section where I said what I want to uh, identify, uh, those are objects. Okay, so a triangle up and a triangle down are referred to objects, no plots. For a plot, you need to use fast signal mode. Okay, and now you can see. The fast, signal no, uh, the fast signal mode has a name. So I need to create those uh, names. And how can I do that? For that, we use markers copy. So I need to add one markers copy per each type of signal I want to create. For example, shorts and longs. And it is very simple. I add the indicator markers copy okay i choose the name for my signal for example go long okay. and i am going to use this as a fast signal for markers okay i i i have two methods to copy something i can copy as a line or i can copy as a signal a signal is something like this. It is present on only one bar because it is a signal. Uh, a line can be something like this. This is a continuous line. 
a line cannot be used to trigger a signal because it is present everywhere. So if what I if what I want to copy is a signal, I use the option use as fast signal. Okay, so perfect. We have a name, we have the fast signal mode, and then I need to indicate uh, which is the indicator, which are the settings, and which is the plot that I want to copy. For that, we go to input series, and then we select the indicator. We can choose any indicator from the list. In this case, we can see it is the TIS ATR trend with all those settings. Is indicator TIS ATR trend. The settings should be the same. Okay, I guess they are the same. Let me let me try. And the plot. We, we saw that this indicator has several plots. Now, which are those triangles, the, the long signals? Signal up. Okay. Click on OK. And now, if everything is correct, okay, so if I chose the correct indicator with the correct settings and the correct plot, then the signal should match. I, I mean, when I click on Apply, this indicator markers copy is going to paint a small little dot, almost invisible. I can make it greater so we can check. Let, let's make it five. Okay. And now we can see that the dots from the markers copy are equal than the triangles. Okay. Uh, and this is important because the parameters are the same. If for some mistake I, I use different settings, between what I see and what I copy, the, si the system is going to execute uh, different signals. Okay, I even more, the indicator is no longer needed to be there. The, the TIS ATR trend is just for visual. Okay, I can turn it off and visible, and even so, the signal is copied. And this is what markers is going to trade. The go long signal uh, detected by markers are those dots. Okay. Now, okay, how can I do the shorts? Let's do the same for the shorts. I can add another markers copy or I can just select, right click and copy, click anywhere to and select, right click and paste. So now I have two exact copies of the same thing and we can check this here on the list of the indicator we have two markers copies okay with the same name and indicator and everything is the same each time i i type paste eh, or control v eh, i press it several times it is going to add a new copy okay I only need two, so let me remove everything else. I need one for the longs, another for the shorts. So for the shorts, change the name to something different. For example, go short. On the indicator, I need to select a different plot, signal down. Okay. And then this is optional, the visual signal. Currently, it is drawing a dot we can draw a red dot like this okay or even we can make visible the original indicator again just for checking if it matches the signals with the copied signals okay uh, let's make the copied signals smaller now that, now that we know that they are correct Okay, and now every signal painted by the indicator is overlapping with the copied signal. Also, uh, this is go short, okay, so it is detected by markers, and the other is go long. So everything is more or less correct. Now, what else? Well, when markers detect this uh, signal, or the long or the short as it is showing here 
then it executes an ATM order. And you can see I have no ATM orders uh, detected. Uh, the ATM orders are a very powerful tool on NinjaTrader that we can use, for example. We can select custom and create a new ATM. Let's say that I want to trade with two contracts with a small target on the first, a big target on the second. So in total, I am going to use two contracts, correct? So one contract on the position number one, I add another position, okay? So here is one contract. One contract on the first, one contract on the second. And for the stop, choose your preferred stop for both positions and the profit, I don't know, maybe 50, 100. Even more, you can add more uh, settings, for example, auto break even, trailing stops. Let's say that when I trigger the first position, I want to move the stop to break even. So you can go to custom and when I am 50 ticks into the profit, I move the stop to break even plus zero or one or whatever. Okay, so this is the configuration of one ATM. I can save this as a template, save as a template. I usually try to, uh, in the name, to have an idea what I am doing. In this case, it's two contracts. Uh, the target number one is 50, the other is 100 versus 50 for the stop. So when I, when I read the name, I have an idea what is doing this. And now I have selected this ATM. Okay, the, the ATM is selected for manual trading. If I click on sell market, Order filled. it is going to use that configuration. Okay, you can see this is position number one and this is position number two. The stops are the same for both. So let's close this. Target filled. Target filled. That, that was a manual, a, a manual trade. And now I want markers to execute that ATM when it detects a long or a short. So here I click on the select a valid ATM. So now it is going to use what I have selected on chart trader. Okay. Even more. I can, if I want to trade manual and also auto, automated, I can choose a different ATM of whatever I have here. And then I can trade manually with this ATM and markers keep trading with this ATM. Okay. And what else? Uh, well, I can select the account. For example, let's say I want to trade the SIM 102. Then I select here the account. So I can leave markers trading this account. And in the meantime, I can trade another account. Okay, this is optional. But markers is going to use this account and this ATM always, even if on chart trader I am doing something different. But currently it is doing nothing because it is off. Okay, so now I can enable the longs. So when a long signal is detected, it is also executed and enable the shorts. Perfect. But it is still off. Now I decide if I want to set it on full automatic mode, all the signals are executed or semi-automatic mode, which is the difference on semi-automatic mode when a short signal is detected, executes the signal and then turn off the button. When a long signal is uh, detected, it is executed and the button is turned off. So for another uh, trade, I need to enable them again. Okay. That will be the fastest as possible, a brief description of what you can do with markers to automate a signal of an indicator, but you can see we have a lot of indicators. We can create our signals. We can add filters, conditions, 
uh, on markers we can set a entry method. For example, here we are entering at market. We can enter with a limit order. We can set daily limits. Uh, we can set a time to trade, etc. There are a lot of videos uh, about this, and I am going to create more of that. Okay, that will be all for today. And if you have any question, uh, you can comment on this video and also you can log into the chat room. We have a chat room on Discord. The instructions are on the description of this video where you can post any question here and also uh, speak with other users to see what they are commenting about uh, markers. If you have any programming or general question, you can post on strategies chat. Okay. Okay. That will be everything for today. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.